So to change the color of your text, you're going to be using the color attribute. And now that I think back to it, I'm pretty sure that in my tutorial where I showed you how to change the background color or something, I said that you could also use color as an attribute. I'm sorry, that was a lie. I'm not sure why I said that. And I kind of feel stupid now that I am thinking back to doing that. Anyways, now we're just going to go to the last semicolon and type color colon and then we can add our color in here. Basically it works the same way as background color. You can use the hex value, RGB value, or just the color name itself. I'm going to be using a hex value. I just like them. They're a lot easier, a lot simpler, and I just like them I guess. So I'm going to just do a simple little um I guess I don't know. Um let's do some yellow. So we'll do a5 or a6 and then let's do b1 and then 3 3 semicolon control s and with internet explorer hmm kind of a greenish yellow maybe if we let's change that to 0 0 maybe a little less green let's change it to a instead of b and Hmm. That did not work either. Huh. Oh. <laughs> My bad. I was wondering why that didn't work. I forgot to put in a zero, so it was only five letters. Alright, so that's kind of like a goldish green yellow. But you get the idea of how this works. I would never use these two colors together. They're just horrible colors. What you would probably want to use is something more like... um here I'll give you guys a good example of something that most people would probably use if you use something other than just black they'd probably well use kind of like a gray in the background and the font would probably be something a little bit like wow that was way lighter than I was expecting uh, let's do a little bit less of that let's just do a um, refresh. Mm, still not turning out the way we want it to. Trying to give you guys a good example so that you don't start making bad, poorly made websites. So, this is. There we go. That's kind of what you would want. You don't want really bright colors, though. And you don't want your s website to look like a website that was designed in the 80s or something where everything's flashy and bright you want it to kind of like just mix together well um, another good one might be something like this eh, maybe a little bit less of that let's go 55ac77 and that should leave us with something that looks nice that's a bit better uh, kind of muggy looking but you guys get the point of how it works that's pretty much all there is to changing the color of it so this tutorial was probably a lot longer than it was supposed to be but it would have been really short if it wasn't anyways in the next tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys how to change links because you can actually style those and then we'll just go from there thank you guys for watching and I'll be seeing you in the next tutorial